Chris, today we're on Grand Bayou. It's just about two miles out of Cushata, Louisiana. Lake's about 3,500 acres. We're gonna be fishing for red ears or chicken pin brim. They're gonna be in water about anywhere from six to eight foot deep. And I'll be catching them two different ways. We'll be drop shotting for them. And I'll also be just tight lining them. We'll be using them. I'm using a number four hook this morning. The reason I'm using a number four hook, I can get a lot more of that cold worm on it. it seems like the bigger the cold worm, I, the more cold worm I put on it, the better the fish bite it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna tie a regular. Trial ain't not in it. And the, and the reason I like to drop shot them is because these are bottom feeders and the closer to the bottom we can get, the uh, better they'll bite. Now I got the short number four on there and I take two number, number five, just press on weights, tie a little knot in the end of your line where it won't slide off as bad. And I try to get anywhere from, I try to stay under a foot. I'm about nine inches right there. And if, if they're not biting it as good as that, I can shorten that up. All I got to do is slide the weights up. So that's what, pretty much how we're going to be doing it. It's pretty simple. Put a couple of these. When the wind blowing this morning, like it is, I like to use two split shots. Normally I just use one if there's no wind. But this will give you a little bit better feel when they hit it. All right, Chris, another way I, we're going to be fishing for these chinks this morning is I just just regular tight lining. What I've got here is a little jewel pole, eight eight foot, ten foot pole. That's what we'll be using. What we'll do, I'll just throw it out and just let the pole actually. I've got pole holders here in the boat, or we can just lay them down. And these tips are so sensitive that you can see the fish hit them, and uh, you can catch them like that. And what I like to do is fish in a place about five minutes, and if I don't catch anything, I move. Let me see your rod. I'm gonna shorten your line up, reel it up. There you go. Well, I did pretty short. I'm going to get him up a little bit closer to the hook. I got you down there now with him. I see him hitting yours now. Set the hook on him. There you go. Hey, there you go. That's another chink. Get the bite on this one. Look here. See him hitting it? There he is. Oh, yeah. Another good chink. Right here beside the boat. Get him, boy. There you go. That's a good one there, man. Get him on up here. Oh, yeah, and that's what we're coming for. That's a good chink. That's a big male. See how dark he is? Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now, that's a big male. That's a, that's a male. See how dark they are? They're moving in. That shell, that mussel shell? That's mussel. That's what they're eating. That's a mussel shell. Get him, boy. Get him. Pick him up. Get him. They started now, boy. Oh, yeah, another big one. There you go, another big male. Big male here. Nice fish. We're doing a little bit different now, Chris. We're casting out, slowly dragging it. Just drag it real slow on the bottom off this point. And we're in about eight and a half foot of water. There's a little grass bed right there. I can feel that grass. When you feel that grass, just kind of let it sit there. And chicken pen's going to be close to that grass. That was... He's on there. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Just throw it out there. That's a good fish here. He just stays on. I think he come on. No, he's coming this way. Yeah, here we go. Another good chink. Just dragging it back real slow. All I'm doing. Look at that. Oh, big male. Not the female. See how yellow she is? See, she's full of eggs. Difference in the female and the male, you can tell. See how yellow she is on the on her stomach? See, the male is real dark where she's real light colored. And her see her distinct ear mark. She's now this one has got a little bit darker chicken pen. That's where they get the chicken pen name, the color of a chicken pen. 
a chick pen like a what you eat like a kind of like an acorn. We got a instant shade tree. I like that boy. I like that instant shade. Isn't that nice? I see there. <laughs> a lot cooler on than one of these, Chris. Hey, hitting as soon as it hits water out there. Something is. He's on there. Look at that. Just that quick. Throw it out there on that point and get him, get him in. Feel like a pretty good fish. Another good chicken pin. Just dragging it across that edge of that grass. Trying to get him on in now. Oh yeah, another chicken pin. Look at that big male. Well, Chris, here we are. We had a good day. Got a real good mess of fish. Oh, chicken pin, just like I said we would. Here he is, they're getting ready to spawn. Not quite ready, but they're getting there. We got a real good mess of fish.